Since the beginning of 2024, Falcon 9s continuously set records with an astonishing launch frequency, especially recently achieving three successful launches within a span of just 20 hours, significantly reducing the turnaround time compared to previous launches. Not to be outdone, Starship, the giant beast pushed forward by SpaceX, is also busy with a series of tests and upgrade actions to perfect its capabilities. And now, even more wonderfully, the Dragon capsules also join the race with its siblings, stirring up the aerospace industry by successfully completing their latest collaborative mission with NASA. So, what did SpaceX and NASA just do with Dragon that makes it mind-blowing? How did SpaceX collaborate with NASA to overcome the challenges of the Dragon flight? How did Elon react? Let's find out in today's episode of Alpha Tech. After a delay due to weather constraints, SpaceX and NASA's Crew-8 mission to the International Space Station, ISS, successfully lifted off from NASA's Kennedy Space Center, KSC, on the night of March 3rd, Eastern Time. The estimated time for Dragon to meet the ISS is at 3 a.m. on March 5th. However, in less than 28 hours, SpaceX's spacecraft caught up with the station and arrived more than a half minute early. This was awesome! Bill Nelson, the NASA administrator, immediately tweeted congratulations for this flight. Crew 8 is on their way to the space station. Congratulations, NASA and SpaceX, on a successful launch. We look forward to new scientific discoveries that will help fuel this new era of space exploration. Onward and upward. The busy CEO, Elon Musk, quickly shared all the special moments of the launch that SpaceX posted. Not only that, but Elon also proudly showcased the milestones of the mission on his personal page. Perhaps the most notable is a photo of the SpaceX and NASA logos with 50 astronaut signatures on it. 50 crew members launched and counting. Earlier tonight, Crew 8 signed the white room at the end of the crew access arm ahead of boarding Dragon and liftoff, SpaceX tweeted. This demonstrates a strong collaboration between NASA and SpaceX in the crew program since 2020. In addition to marking the milestone of 50 astronauts flown into space, this will be Dragon Endeavor's fifth flight after previously flying Demo 2, Crew 2, Axe 1, and Crew 6 to the space station and spending 466 days on orbit to date. This duration is longer than any spacecraft designed to transport humans to and from Earth. It'll add approximately 180 days to its flight log with this mission. Furthermore, Crew 8 also marks Dragon's 13th human spaceflight mission, the ninth NASA crew mission collaborating with SpaceX, and the company's third launch to the space station this year with two crewed flights. The flight carrying four astronauts is scheduled to return in the fall and will stay at the ISS for six months. They'll conduct over 200 scientific experiments as part of a long-term mission to prepare for humanity's extended stay in space. This contributes to a new milestone for Dragon as SpaceX has posted, for the past 12 years, Dragon missions have carried a thousand plus research experiments to orbit, enabling researchers the opportunity to fly critical science to orbit. Success is indeed like this, but behind the curtain lies the collective effort of all of SpaceX and NASA employees. Prior to liftoff, SpaceX engineers unexpectedly discovered that a coating on the Dragon spacecraft had a crack. Immediately afterward, they, along with NASA engineers, analyzed whether the extreme pressures and temperatures that the Dragon faced during its return journey would pose a threat to crew safety. After 45 minutes of pre-launch checks, fortunately, the statement from SpaceX engineers was that the size of the defect or separation of that RTV seal was within the qualified limits of the design. This is one of multiple redundant seals in this area. It's kind of a top coating over the pressure seal, which is over the main seal over the hatch. It also has a very low heating region for the vehicle, and actually this material expands during heating process, and so we expect that actually a defect of this size would self-heal during the launch process. This means that there is no safety risks associated with the crack throughout the entire flight process and return to Earth. The SpaceX official later added that the RTV room temperature vulcanized coating is applied each time a Dragon takes a crew to space, leading SpaceX to conclude that the defect was just due to the application process. In response to a question, NASA Stitch shared that the agency has full authority at all times during the countdown process to abort a launch if it feels that any criteria is being violated. According to him, the final poll for the launch for NASA's approval came five minutes before the launch. The seal was on the leeward side of the Crew Dragon, and Stitch added that engineers studied the effects of heating in the top part of the hatch seal. Given its size, the heating was not a threat, and NASA further validated its conclusions by checking data from the TPS defect experiments flown on cargo missions. These experiments looked at larger defects, and NASA's TPS experts worked with SpaceX to confirm that the defect didn't pose a threat. As part of its clearance process for the launch, SpaceX and NASA teams reached the same conclusions independently. 
which made him comfortably confident to proceed with liftoff. The square acreage of the defector crack was 0.02 square inches, which was less than half what the systems qualified to handle. The incident ultimately didn't hinder the process of SpaceX Dragon, but there are many opinions suggesting that this crack will affect the ability to certify Dragon for 15 flights. Before, Steve Stitch, NASA's commercial crew program manager, said, Right now, we're certified for five flights on Dragon, and we're looking at extending that life out. I think the goal would be for SpaceX to say 15 flights of Dragon. We may not get there in every single system. Engineers at SpaceX and NASA are meticulously examining every aspect of Dragon's design, including its structural framework, composite shells, rocket engines, valves, and various components. Their goal is to assess the remaining operational life of each part. Over time, certain elements of the spacecraft can experience fatigue due to the repeated stresses of launch, re-entry, splashdown, and the extreme temperature changes experienced during thousands of orbits. For instance, the Draco thrusters on board the spacecraft have a predetermined number of firings for which they're certified. This thorough examination ensures the continued safety and reliability of Dragon for future missions. However, there is an unexpected crack. Will it affect the evaluation of an additional 10 crewed flights for Endeavor? Please comment your opinions and let us know. Meanwhile, some components are already approved for 15 flights, Stitt said in a recent press conference. Some were in the middle of working on, he said. Some of those components have to go through some requalification to make sure they can make it out to 15 flights. To ensure the continued reliability of its spacecraft, SpaceX conducts rigorous testing on components through a process called requalification. This involves subjecting hardware to thorough ground tests. Since SpaceX reuses hardware, engineers can extract parts from previously flown Dragon spacecraft for requalification testing. Ultimately, NASA has the final authority in certifying Dragon for additional flights, as the agency is SpaceX's primary customer for crewed missions. The frequency of Dragon flights has surpassed initial expectations due to delays in Boeing's Starliner program, which is NASA's other commercial crew contractor. Originally, NASA planned to alternate between Crew Dragon and Starliner flights every six months to rotate crews at the International Space Station. However, with Boeing's delays, SpaceX has increased its flight cadence to fill the gap. The delays in Boeing's program have benefited SpaceX, leading to contract extensions from NASA, including 14 operational Crew Dragon flights compared to six Starliner flights. Additionally, SpaceX has ventured into private crewed missions in collaboration with companies like Axiom Space and billionaire Jared Isaacman. Despite the success and increased demand, SpaceX is nearing certification limits on its Dragon spacecraft sooner than anticipated. The company currently operates four human-rated Dragon spacecraft and three cargo Dragons with a fifth Crew Dragon nearing completion. SpaceX officials have indicated that the upcoming fifth Crew Dragon will be the final iteration, sufficient to meet demand until the next generation Starship vehicle is ready. However, it'll take several years, possibly longer, to certify Starship for human launches and landing. In the meantime, Dragon will continue to launch on Falcon 9 rockets, with SpaceX exploring options to extend the reusable booster's lifespan up to 40 launches and landing. When recertifying the Dragon spacecraft, SpaceX and NASA are considering an intermediate number of flights, potentially between 5 and 15, with the goal of eventually reaching 15 flights per Dragon. Certain components, such as heat shield materials and parachutes, still require replacement after each flight to ensure safety and reliability. And that's all for today's episode. Thanks so much for watching, and see you next time.